So we're going to finish building this now and this is where we're going to have our nesting boxes which is where the eggs are going to get laid hopefully but as I said before we don't want to extend the width too much because we might struggle to get through gateways so we're going to make it removable so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some screws down through here to stick out the bottom and we're going to cut some holes in this the frame of the trailer so that it just sits on and sits in those holes and then lifts off and then we'll have it all sort of hung from this that's the plan So at the moment I'm just building like the carcass of the, the nesting box, just like we did with the trailer. We built the, the, you know, the four walls first and then kind of just worked everything else around it, the four walls and the floor. Well, I'm kind of doing the same now with the nesting box. So we're just gonna screw all the bits together. So here you can see it's really simple. I've just built three walls and a floor. Now, obviously the walls are angled so that when it's up against the trailer, the roof will sit on the top and the rainwater can run off. I've set my saw to cut at an angle on this back so it sits down flush, but you don't need to do that. You could cut it uh, just straight across so long as the high point matches on the outside, not on the inside, because otherwise your roof will sit up a little bit. But even that, you know, it's not the end of the world. The next thing I need to do, two little grooves in here so that it will sit back against the trailer. So that's my next job. There, so hopefully. Yeah, it's not too bad. Just to take a little bit off here, underneath that slot where the the trailer is an angle, the piece of metal I'll show you. So you see, we've cut our two slots, which sit nicely around the top here. And I just need to take a bit more out for this piece, which is probably gonna be easiest to do with my jigsaw. Yes, much better, much better. And I've changed my mind entirely about how we're going to fix it, actually. We'll fix it with pegs, I'll show you. It's easier for me to do it and then show you what I had in mind. Okay, so what I've just done a little tip, if you want to fix something like this from the other side, like I just did, I put some long screws just here underneath. One, two, three, and I rested it on and I was able to see the screws from the other side. So I knew that when I, when I come to fix my piece of timber from the other side, I came just a little bit above those screws and I was going to be in my timber. So that's how I fixed it from the other side and knew where it was. Then what I've done is I've just drilled some holes that are far too big for the screws. So the screws are just loose in there and the holes are going diagonally downwards. So that when I put this in place, I just drop that in the hole and it's pinned, it's secure. 
Now, obviously it's not uh, snug, it's not particularly tight. There's a bit of room for movement, but I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna fill all these gaps just by putting a piece of timber up here along the bottom and up that side so that it'll just be nice and snug. It'll be, uh, it'll be in there really well and there'll be no air gaps and, well, there'll be a tiny bit of air gap, but there'll be no gaps that vermin can get in, which is our main, our main concern. So that's the bulk of it done. That's the uh, detachable nesting box done. You can see that that's not going anywhere, but if I do need to take it off to get it through a gateway, I just take these two screws out, lift it off and we're away. We're just gonna cut a roof to go across here, put some hinges on it, and then that's taken care of. And obviously because we've got this overhang here, I don't have to worry too much about rainwater getting down behind the roof. We're gonna take our jigsaw and cut some holes in here for the hens, and we're pretty much done. for our hens to come through and lay their eggs. There you go. So if you were building something like this and you were shutting your hens in at night and that was your protection against the fox, then you're also going to want some kind of catch on this because the fox may work out how to get in through here because we're going to have our electric fence around it. That's our protection against the fox really, so uh, I'm less concerned. I will put a catch on it, but I'm not going to do that immediately. I'm going to do it when I get chance at a later date. So we've only got two jobs left to do and that is to build a mini door somewhere in here for the hens to get in and out and build some perches that's it so i'm just taking a walk to come and find those perches if you remember just a couple of weeks ago we dropped a couple of small oak trees up here in the wood so i'm hoping that we're going to be able to find three perches that we can use they need to be long enough to reach from one side of the trailer to the other. And they need to be thick enough that they're gonna be strong enough to support the birds. Oak is obviously a fantastic wood to be using. So let's see what we can find. I think we're gonna be in luck. So I'm gonna to have to put the phone down because I need both my hands to drag these back. But I've got my three perches here, two there and one on the floor. So I'm gonna drag these back and fit them to the trailer. So here's our four perches. Decided on four in the end. And they're just gonna go left to right, across like that, spread out through the length. And that's what our girls will sleep on in the night. Now, speaking of night, I'm losing the light. So I think I'm gonna wrap this video up. I'm not gonna be able to show you me putting the perches on. I'm gonna call it a day here. So the next time you see this, chances are we will be transferring our girls that are up in the wood into this somewhere over there in that meadow on that lovely grass for them so that'll probably be the next time you see it so with that i will uh, close it out and speak to you guys soon cheers <laughs>